What are human rights? The respect for human rights is a central feature of a constitutional democracy. Human rights protect us against the actions of those who exercise power over us and help us to create a world in which we can all reach our full potential as human beings. We are entitled to have our rights respected, protected and promoted simply because we are human beings. We have the right to dignity and equality. This means whatever our nationality, place of residence, sex, national or ethnic origin, colour, religion, language or any other status, we are all entitled to fundamental human rights. Because of South Africa's apartheid history, the protection of human rights is specifically important in this country. Before 1994, the most basic rights of the majority of South Africans were not respected by the state. We decided as a nation to protect the human rights of all when we became a democracy. To ensure that no one is subjected to the infringement of their rights and the denial of their human dignity ever again. The protection of human rights in South Africa draws inspiration from the global human rights movement which started after the Second World War and culminated in the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations General Assembly in 1948. Human rights follow three core principles which describe how these rights work and apply. Firstly, our rights are inalienable. That means that our rights will always apply to us simply because we are human. They cannot be taken away from us by anyone. Our rights will not change even if our life circumstances change. The second core principle is interdependence. That means that our rights come as a full package. This is because the protection of some rights depends on the protection of other rights. Our human rights support one another and strengthen one another. The third core principle is equality and non-discrimination. That means that every person has the right to equal opportunity and freedom. This is a core principle in our South African context. In a democracy like South Africa, human rights are guaranteed by the country's constitution. The constitution is a supreme law of the country. All our rights are in Chapter 2, which is called the Bill of Rights. Our South African Bill of Rights outlines different groups of human rights. First of all, it gives a number of basic rights. They include the right to equality before the law, the right to life and the right to human dignity. The Bill of Rights then goes on to talk about civil rights, which are rights that a person has as a member of a community, state or nation. Examples of civil rights include the freedom of religion, belief and opinion, as well as the freedom of expression. Then we further have political rights, which include each citizen's right to vote, protest and assembly, and forming and campaigning for a political party. What is special about our Bill of Rights in South Africa is that it also focuses on socio-economic rights. Examples are the right to housing, the right to education, and the right to healthcare. We explain these rights in more detail in our Constitution video series. Not all countries commit themselves to these rights. These rights place a special duty and responsibility on our government. They are very important because a large part of the struggle for freedom was about improving the lives of the majority of the people. So these are the different groups of human rights in our Bill of Rights. The Bill requires the state to respect, protect, promote and fulfil these guaranteed rights. But we citizens not only have rights, but obligations too. The same values that protect us have to guide how we treat one another in society. So remember, we too have the responsibility to respect these rights at all times. Even if we do not like another person, it is our duty to respect his or her rights. You can see this easily if you think about a specific right, 
like the right to basic education. It means that you are free to go to school, but it also means that you should not prevent anyone else from going to school. We explain the right to education in more detail in the video, What Does the Right to Education Entail? The Bill of Rights also applies to relations between all individuals and relations between individuals, the government and private institutions. Why are human rights so important? Human rights are a central feature of any constitutional democracy. In South Africa, our human rights are outlined in the Bill of Rights, which is found in Chapter 2 of our Constitution and forms the cornerstone of our democracy. It is supposed to ensure that we all enjoy the protection of the democratic values of human dignity, freedom and equality before the law.